All right, so obviously, look, you've been in camp for a little while now. It seems to be like quite a uh, prolonged training camp leading into the World Cup warm up games. In terms of the kind of the mood and the atmosphere uh, around the camp, I suppose because we haven't had much to talk about for a while in terms of rugby, a lot of the focus has been on, on Johnny and, and the PCR review and all that sort of thing. Has that had much of an impact on the atmosphere around camp or anything like that? Um, no, not really. You know, he's, you know, he said himself he's quite disappointed, but uh, he's working really hard. He's training really hard day in, day out. So he'll be ready um, come the first game. And for us, we're just focusing on uh, daily improvement. Um, you know, it's what, two, we have two weeks now, or just under two weeks till to the, the Italian game. So, you know, that's when things you'll see start to ramp up in terms of <coughs> game mindset and stuff and, and how you can perform. Because, you know, you can do so much on the pitch and stuff, but you can only test it really when you play games. So we'll find out, you know, where we are and get a benchmark for, for the rest of the games. Yeah, and in terms of those games, so particularly playing England and Samoa in the warm games and Italy to an extent as well, how well will that prepare you for what will be a very physical group in terms of Tonga and South Africa and Scotland when you get to the World Cup? Yeah, it'll be it'll be great. England always a big team. You know, Mike Alatoa, one of my good friends, Leinster captain Samoa, so I'm looking forward to potentially playing against him. And you know, it does. You can only sometimes you know, sharpen steel with steel like you know what I mean um, you, you need to experience it first hand and you know we get it physical in training here but it's not the same as um, running into guys in, on the pitch so you know it will be a good test in terms of where the mental focus is at and just I suppose the confidence you're taking into this World Cup coming off the back of a Grand Slam you have the world number one tag and that seems to be something that you far from shy from you really embrace what's the confidence level like going into this World Cup um, I think the confidence comes from the preparation you put in. Um, the preparation we're putting in at the moment is is where it needs to be and where it's at. So that's where we'll, where where we'll get our confidence from. We'll get our confidence from going down and winning tour in New Zealand. We'll get our confidence from the Grand Slam and uh, November series last year. So you know our confidence is coming from somewhere tangible, not just out of thin air. Yeah, absolutely. And just finally, in terms of monitoring other opposition, have you been uh, following um, the, the Tri Nations? Like South Africa obviously hasn't been going very well. Australia slipped up against uh, uh, Argentina and New Zealand have been kind of blowing everybody away. Is that something you kind of keep an eye on? What's going on in the Southern Hemisphere while you're here training away? Yeah, I enjoy, I enjoy watching it. So I've been keeping an eye on it, you know, looking at a couple of teams and what they're doing. Um, but main focus is in here.